Hi, I'm going to be demonstrating how to do an epidural for you today. So we'll start out with our sterile gloves, and I'll show you how we open them and all our materials that we're going to be using. So one of the things we need is a needle, the appropriate size syringes, our epidural needle. And so you just want to get everything on sterilely. My lovely assistant would come over here to help me. I'm going to be putting saline in for the hanging drop technique. And so this really doesn't matter how much you put in, just a couple mils, because all we're doing is testing the water, so to speak. And in this syringe is where we're going to put our drug. We're, and today we're going to be putting lidocaine and morphine in here. And so what I do want you to notice on your, when you use your epidural needle is if, if you look at it closely, at the very top, there'll be a little slit that goes into a little groove. And as you follow down on the needle, you'll see that is where your bevel is. And so in most procedures, our bevel is going to be pointed cranial. Um, there's only a few procedures, which I'll talk about later, that it will be po pointed caudal. As you can see, we have sterilely clipped and prepped this area, and I have also marked, uh, just to show you where the wings of the ileum are, just to, to help you get your landmarks. So here's the uppermost part of the wings, and the divot, the LS junction that we're looking for, is usually right parallel with the topmost part of the wings or slightly caudal. In this case, this dog is thin enough, I could feel it, and I could see that it was uh, parallel to the spot. If you have problems, you can also draw a line down the spine, put a piece of tape, just to help give you landmarks. So I'm going to drape this dog. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spinal needle. And remember, we showed you we want to go cranial on the bevel. So I'm going to palpate with my non-dominant hand. I'm going to use my thumb and my middle finger, and I'm going to palpate the topmost part of the wings. And then with my index finger, I'm going to put my finger down the spine until I can feel that LS junction. Um, so it's right here. So what I like to do is let go of my finger and put it back down in case I've moved the skin. So at a 90 degree angle, I want to go in right where I had palpated and you want to go through the first layer of skin and fascia or muscle just so that your uh, spinal needle will stand up. This is where I'm going to take my saline for my hanging drop and I'm just going to uh, put, make a nice little meniscus on the top. And this is where I'm going to start advancing. And what I am hoping that will happen is as I pop, pop through the ligamentum, the negative pressure in the epidural space will suck in the saline. And there you go, see it sucking in. And that tells me that I'm in. But because I like to test everything two or three times and make sure that I do it safely, I will get a nice big air bubble in my syringe. And this is where I want you to hold on to that spinal needle very uh, tightly so it won't advance. And I'm going to attach it. And then what I want to do is just inject a little saline. And you can almost see it flowing by itself in there with no compression of this air bubble. So that tells me I'm in. So that I'm going to take the drug that, of choice that I had picked. Again, I'm going to have a nice air bubble in there because I want to make sure I don't come out of that space. And this, I usually take about 30 to 60 uh, seconds 
to inject this in. And I just kind of go nice and slow so that we get even distribution. We want all our drug to get in there. A little bit of air doesn't hurt at all, so I want to make sure I get all my drug to go in there. And then I grab the whole thing and hold off and pull it out. Quite often we get dogs that are, are not easy to palpate or it's not easy to find the um, spot. So I just wanted to show you the walking technique. So if you hit, come down and you hit bone, what you'll want to do is decide either cranial or caudal and walk it like two or three times going down and if I don't get into the space I will come back to the original space and then I will walk it cranial two or three times. So this is the positioning for lateral and it does help if you ha pull his uh, hind limbs forward it kind of opens up that space for you. Thank you. And so you'll want to find the same thing the wings of the ileum and you'll want to get your LS junction and you're going to pop through. The only thing about lateral is the hanging drop technique doesn't work, so you have to just depend on the lack of resistance technique.